All right, this video is to my younger self or a younger version of myself that is watching this video right now. And I know it's gonna make it to the exact person that it needs to make it to because that's how I set my intentions when I create these videos. So there's gonna be five lessons that, or advice that I would give my younger self, you to be in particular, around how you can live a more fulfilling life and just like enjoy yourself a lot more. I have a little bit of notes. I'm gonna look at them if I'm looking down, if I don't put other stuff on the screen, that's why. But basically the first one is stay true to who you are. There's gonna be a lot of people in your life that are gonna tell you that you need to go try this or you need to go this route or you need to do these things or this is the routes and the type of person that you have to be. Don't listen to them. Like if somebody's trying to peer pressure you into like taking a shot or going out to the club or drinking or something like that, don't have to do that if that's who you are. So remain true to who you are on the inside. Don't compromise your values or your principles just to make somebody else happy. Because if you do that, you are going to hate yourself in the long term. Because the one person that you have to spend the rest of your life and your entire existence with is yourself. So if you can't look at yourself in the mirror, if you can't listen to yourself, if you can't watch yourself, if you can't even just be around yourself without having distractions or noises, you need to work on that. And the reason why you can't do that is one, because you started to listen to other people and you started to do what other people were doing. And you didn't listen to that own internal self-talk that you were having about this is wrong this isn't the right thing to do and that started to compound upon itself until all of a sudden now you don't like who you are so that's rule number one is make sure that you stay true to who you are in every aspect of your life second one if you don't want to go don't you don't have to go anywhere that you don't want to go like people are going to ask you to go do certain things people are going to invite you to certain places people are going to expect certain things of you but the great thing about being who you are and the type of person that you are right now and you will come to be is that you get to go where you want to go and if you don't want to go on the camping trip if you don't want to go to the party if you don't want to go to the family place if you don't want to hang out with these certain people or friends on a certain day you have every right to say no I can't make it, or you can just say no. You don't even have to add that I can't make it. If somebody doesn't, if you don't wanna to go to the certain thing because it doesn't feel right or the energies aren't in place or there just brings up certain bad events or traumas or traumatic experiences or you just don't like the mood or the feeling or the energy that's there, you have every right not to go to that same place. And if they get angry at you, that's a them problem. That's not a you problem. You can't control how somebody reacts to the reaction that you have given out to them. What they do with the information afterwards is completely in their hands. All you can do is say the things that feel right to you in your heart and follow those follow that path to the place that you need to get to. The more you do that, the more the right people will start to come around and you'll be able to have conversations with people that you actually want to have conversations with. And your life will be a lot more fulfilling and joyful at least that's how it has been for me and i know if that's working for me now it'll work for you at this point in time in your life as well the third one is meditate <clears throat> meditate every day at least for 20 minutes either in the morning or in the evening you can if you can eventually build up to doing it in the evening and in the morning but just start out with 20 minutes the meditation that i recommend doing is just following the breath download an app called waking up this is the app that i ended up using I don't know how it is anymore since I don't use the app, but like that's one of the big pieces of advice that I would use. If you don't want to download the app, then the thing that I would recommend doing is just following your breath in your diaphragm, your chest, or your nose, wherever you feel the breath most. And just whenever you have the thought, like notice the thought, acknowledge it, and then come back to the breath and be focused on that. Meditation will be one of the best things that you will ever do in your entire life. At the time when you first start doing it, you'll be like, this isn't working. It's exactly like when the gym, when you go to the gym, when you start moving the weight, you don't see any sort of progress, but then all of a sudden it just compounds all over one night and you have this whole trajectory of like, it goes like this, 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 and then it just skyrockets up. Meditation is the same thing, just as lifting is. So meditate on a daily basis. And you don't always have to have like a formal practice, but like give yourself at least five minutes minimum. If you can't do 20, start with five minutes and do that every single day just to focus on your breath. Because one of the philosophers, Epictetus said, most of the world's problems would be solved if men could sit alone in the room by themselves. So this is one way that you can start to do that. And if you can understand this yourself, this ties back to the first point that I said around being and staying true to who you are by through meditation, you'll be able to figure out who you are more, which will in turn make you a lot more happy to be around yourself and not have to necessarily be surrounding yourself with meaningless people that don't actually influence you or help you grow in any way, shape or form, or that you have can actually have deep conversations with. Number four, if you never ask, the answer will always be no. If there's a girl, if there's a question, if there's something that you're curious about, just ask the person. I do this all the time and I highly recommend you do it as well or start doing it. If you're out at the park, if you're at the beach, if you're at the in the mountains or something like that and you're curious about something like what type of bird this is or what type of like roads that you can drive on when you're a trucker, whatever it is that you have in mind. And I know those are specific examples because those are questions that I myself have asked other people. That is something that will help you out a lot because it's one thing where like it's 
you can kind of have this analogy like if you're a big fisher i'm not really a big fisher but i know a lot of people like fishing net analogies like you got to cast your your line to be able to catch the fish it's the exact same thing with asking the questions and that's why i'll ask you a question right now you can click the link in the bio you can join the community it's 47 dollars a month it's basically a place for where we can interact we can talk with people we can have friendly encounters we can just chill like one-on-one -on -one via zoom meeting each and every single morning and then for anybody that's local we'll do like groups hiking, biking, walking, running exercises so that we can like actually build a community of like actual like-minded people. And we don't have to necessarily be having to just watch somebody on the screen all the time talk about. So that's my ask to you. If you want to join that, awesome. If not, I'll just toss it out there. But otherwise, if I never asked, the answer would be no. So that's one thing that I really want you to keep in mind is just ask because you don't know what the answer is going to be until you do ask. And I know it might be hard for you to ask. So start small, start with the smaller little bits of pieces to be able to then work up to those like bigger asks, like asking the girl, uh, asking for marriage, asking for the girlfriend, asking for the promotion, asking for the raise, asking for the deal, asking for whatever it is that you're wanting to ask for, start small and then work up to those bigger things. And you can start to do this in meditation as well, along within the real world. Number five, spend money on education, not things. <clears throat> and I know this ties back to the thing that I was just talking about with the community around being $47 a month, but buying education, education has been one of the most valuable things that I've ever done. You can see it right here with all the books that I have bought and read. I've also bought other courses. I've also bought other communities. I've also bought coaching. I've bought group coaching. I've bought like all a hundred different things. And I never really bought things like the bike and the Legos that you see. Wow. Over here. Like those are like the main things that I have bought with my money. I don't buy new clothes. Like I wear the same clothes all the time because I'm like, I'd rather spend money on education and on myself because I know education is the one thing that never leaves me buying things like, cool. I get a quick hit of dopamine and maybe I get some looks from everybody else, but it's like, that's really only temporary. Whereas like when you actually spend time to understand yourself and educate yourself on certain topics and ideas that you find interesting, that's something that nobody can ever take away from you. That's something that will always be in your tool belt of tools. And if you like Batman at all, it's like you have that tool to whip out of your belt at any time you never have to go out and rebuy it or buy different things because like the information once it's in here you you never lose what you gain in consciousness all you do is you start to become more conscious of the things that you're already doing and more conscious of the things that you have so education is one of the most valuable resources that i highly recommend doing and why i like hopefully giving you some sort of educational stuff or some sort of informational information to hopefully inspire you to go out and do things that you never thought that you could do. So those would be the five things that I would say and the five best pieces of advice for my younger self, for you right now, to live a more like fulfilling, joyful life. And just to repeat them and then we'll wrap up the video. First, stay true to who you are. Two, if you don't want to, if you, <laughs> if you don't want to go, don't meditate if you never ask, the answer will always be no and spend money on education, not things. I hope this helped.